It's been two full weeks since we poured the epoxy and we have some progress or lack thereof actually. This section here with the two to one curing agent hasn't even cured up. I'll show you up close each section so you can see what's gonna happen then I'll tell you what we're gonna do to fix this. So here on the end was the section that we poured in 55 degree temperature. Uh, it's mostly cured pretty well. It actually cured up halfway decent. No, nothing really to, to complain about. Next up is the section that we poured two to one base resin. So this had two parts base resin, one part Part. curing agent as you can see it's a little bit wavy here in the front we definitely have some waviness right here uh, and in the back you get some waviness so it just didn't cure a hundred percent correctly you see some waviness in there um, next up is the two to one curing agent to base resin and this hasn't cured at all check this out it is 100% liquid still, hasn't cured whatsoever. And again, it's been two weeks, so we'll address this here in a second. Last but not least is the section that we poured perfectly well and it is 100% cured, it's good. There's no soft spots or anything like that. So now that you've seen what each section looks like, we're gonna go ahead and try to fix this. We're gonna start with this area right here, which is the two to one curing agent. This is the stuff that is still tacky. And as much as I wish there was a silver bullet to fix this, there really isn't. You might see some people online that say, oh, just mix up another batch, pour it over top, or maybe you mixed too much base resin or too much curing agent and then just pour whatever it is on top that you were mixing out of you can't do that it's not going to work you have to scrape it down you have to sand it down even if you have some soft spots if you don't mix correctly you'll you'll end up with some soft spots in there you can't just pour over top of them you really need to scrape it down as best you can and then sand it down and then re-pour it properly so that's what we're going to do i have a putty knife right here in front of me i'm going to scrape this down and use some paper towels and we'll see how well i can get it and then we'll sand it down so ch check this out you can see this stuff just coming straight off so as I mentioned you can you can see as I'm scraping this it's coming right off almost down 100% down to the wood check that out behind it you're we're down to the base layer there so we'll scrape this off as best we can and then I'll sand it and you can see it hasn't cured at all it's still 100% liquid that's a look at how the epoxy was set up after two weeks if it's not correctly mixed. Now how do you go about fixing it if you have a problem you didn't mix it correctly well? It's kind of a tricky subject because it depends on what your epoxy looks like. If it has bubbles at the top you can hit it with a sander. If you're really really thin it's still not cured you can go ahead and scrape it down as I'm showing you right now. You could just hit it with a putty knife or something similar and scrape it down as best as possible and then hit it with a sander. Now here the section that we poured a two to one base resin uh, um, we thought it was perfectly set up until we hit it with a sander and it was almost rubbery. It wasn't properly cured. So you hit a section that is rubbery. If that's the case, you need to scrape it down as best you can before you hit it with a sander because obviously the sander is not going to work on a rubbery surface or a liquid surface. So uh, the best thing you could do is scrape it down as best as possible, sand it as best as possible, and then go ahead and clean it up before you pour again. Now you can pour the entire project again, or you can pour that specific area that is affected because the epoxy self levels, it's going to, it's going to go ahead and flow out so that you're not going to be able to see that. So that is a look at what to do and how not to pour epoxy and then once it is a problem how to fix it. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us to keep going and we'll be back with more videos next time.